Hey guys, I'm going to do a continuation of the quick and easy school makeup tutorial that I did not too long ago. I just had very little makeup on and I didn't wear any shadows on my lids and I didn't today either. Basically the makeup I wore today is very similar to what I wore in that tutorial. So I'm going to attach this video as a response to that one and I'm also going to put it in the description box over there to the left so you can see everything that I already did prior to what I'm going to be doing in this video if that makes sense. Okay, so um, as far as wearing shadows on the lid, especially when you're like in a rush during the morning or to wherever you're going, um, I would choose probably just one lid color that you're comfortable with wearing by itself. Um, and I'm going to show you a few examples. There's a lot of different colors I'd actually feel kind of comfortable wearing by itself, but for the most part, I'm just going to show you more of like the neutral shades, you know, for now, because it's kind of like easier to just wear, and you don't have to be concerned with it matching with your outfit in the morning, and yeah, the neutral shades, you just, they're kind of a no-brainer, you know? Okay, so some of the colors I would wear by itself, um, I personally really love some of the Urban Decay shadows. I would wear smog by itself. It's this color right here. And it's kind of like a like a really pretty shimmery brown with a golden sheen to it. I love that color. Um, that would be really, really nice alone. You could it would almost look like a kind of like a daytime smoky color. I would also wear like copper colors alone or you know, if you want to go with something matte, some, something like a light brown like that, or some like taupe, taupe colors, and I would even wear like this color by itself. This is from the Urban Decay Shadow Palette box, whatever it's called. I would wear this color by itself too, Scratch. This is like a copper shade, I would wear that by itself. There's a lot of colors you could wear by itself. Um, for those of you girls who have smaller lids or like no lid or fold for the crease in your eye, um, I actually think you could really pull off like dark browns just like really close by your lash line. That I think that looks really great on you guys and um, I would wear that too, you know, why not? So today what I'm going to wear is... I'm just going to wear Scratch all over my lid, and since that's a pretty like shimmery color, I'm going to have a matte, more of a matte highlight. This is from the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. So let's just go ahead and quickly do that. Okay, so I'm just going to take that Scratch, <gasps> the brushes just fell out, sorry, and just apply that all over my lid. So I, I just want it to be real quick and easy, like no blending to be concerned with. I just wear it all over my lid. I really like this color because it's like a beige but with almost a peach, peachy pink undertone to it. It's just really pretty. Okay, just like that, all over the leg. You know, no thinking required, just kind of do it. Okay, and then I'm going to take that matte, really light, light beige color as my highlight. And just put that all the way up under my eyebrows and just blend it in with that scratch color. And just blend it in real quick. Okay. 
so quick, so easy. Um, for those of you who need to fill in your brows, feel free to do that. I actually did fill mine in just a little bit with this kind of really flat matte taupe color. So this is a convenient palette. This is from the Maybelline Chai Latte Quad. Okay, and what else could you do? Um, you could apply some eyeliner on your waterline. I didn't do that in the previous tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's take my Revel and Color Stay in black. I'm just going to apply this all over my waterline. And if you're kind of thinking the look is a little boring with just the one shadow, another thing you could do is, you know, maybe wing out your liner just a little bit with some black shadow and a flat angled brush like that. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So I'm just going to pick up some of that black shadow. And this is from a CoverGirl Trio. I have some of my brush here. And I'm just going to angle it up just like that and then I'm going to fill it in a little bit make sure you have a good like base or primer such as UDPP or Too Faced Shadow Insurance otherwise this wing might not really want to stay because it is just a powdered shadow so, but, you know, early in the morning, you really don't want to deal with, I don't know, liquid liner. So, you could just use some shadow. Okay. So that already kind of pumps up the drama just a little bit. Really quick and easy way to get the winged liner look. Okay. And let's see, what else can we do? Um, you could wear some bronzer. You know, if you want to contour your cheekbones or give yourself a bit of a natural glow tan because um, in my previous video all I did was wear some blush just to liven up my face a little bit and yeah um, okay I actually have some recommendations to make things a little faster or you know longer staying for the rest of the day you know if you're in high school it's like a wet like a nine hour day, yeah it's pretty long. Um, I would recommend for those who have a really hard time lining their eyes with a regular pencil with that, you know, just a regular pencil, you could try out a flat liner pencil. And this is designed for those of you guys who have a hard time lining with just the small stub tip, you know, or if you don't want to deal with getting a, a brush and a cream liner um, you could try Flatliner. This particular one is from NYC. I wouldn't recommend this one though because it's not the best. I heard that Styly Style Flatliners are pretty good. So you could check those out. That might make your life a little easier. Also, I have on my lips this Super Stay Lip Color from Maybelline. And this is supposed to be, uh, I believe, if it's either 12 or 16, like 12 hour color for your lips. So this is supposed to stay on your lips for a really long time. And you just apply it on your lips, the color. And then you're supposed to let it dry for like two minutes. And then you apply the lip balm right over that so that your lips don't feel so dry. And so this is something that you could check out. You know, it might be really nice something with longer staying power, that's what you're really looking for. Yeah, so you're not constantly reapplying, you know, lip color throughout the day. And that's basically it for more of a full face makeup. Um, foundation, you can wear it if you really want to, you, f you feel you have the time, but um, if you don't need it, don't, don't go through all that trouble, you know. Maybe some light powder or something, or tinted moisturizer, that'd be good. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope this was a little bit helpful. Um, I like to keep things simple when I'm in a rush. I normally don't even wear any shadows when I'm in a rush, but this is what I would do. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.